Hi everyone, I am Betul al Marzouk and I'm going to speak about a topic that I find quite useful when I do my research, which is how to make your code or analysis citable. As you might already know, research goes through a very, very long cycle. We start with the research idea, we do planning, designing, then we spend ages doing data collection and processing. And once we reach the stage of doing analysis, part of the results that comes out very often it's not that interesting to be published in a high impact journals. However, the approach itself, the pipeline, the methodology is very interesting to other researchers. Not to mention, which you might already know, when you get a result is also a result. So very often when I try to look into a code, I do find it in a repository like GitHub, GitLab. However, citing a code from a repository is not that straightforward, simply because the URL itself can get broken very easily. Um, also, the repository itself is inconsistent to changes. So best of practice when citing any kind of repository is to have a DOI or digital object identifier, which is a unique ID. Here I do have a unique ID generated by Zenaudo, and I do have a metadata attached to it, like the author of the code, the date, uh, the name of the project itself. If you're not familiar with Zenodo, Zenodo is a general purpose open access repository developed by the European Open Air Program. However, it's not really the only one that you can use. There is more specialized one that you can use. The reason that I'm mentioning it here because you can integrate it very, very easily with GitHub. And also there is this package that I'm going to mention in a bit that you can use Zenodo from within R without going to Zenodo itself. So how to do that? The very first step that you want to start with is the creating a license. So license is how you tell others to use your work. Uh, license is extremely important when you work in any kind of a project. There is many types of licenses. I'm not going to go through them, but what you want to know is that you can use, use this package to automate to creating the, bucket, the license itself. Um, you can also use the use this package to make your project enter version control with Git. So it's, it's very extremely easy. There is also many ways of using Git within R, um, and there's plenty of tutorials to do so. And that's really useful to for other researchers to track the development of the research itself. Uh, the third step that you get you want to do is adding your code into Zenodo. You can do that using integrating Zenodo with GitHub, but also you can do that with the Zen for R package, which has been created by Emmanuel. So with this package, you can simply create a DOI from within R itself, and you can also attach all kinds of metadata to it. However, that's not really the end of the story. Once you have your DOI, which looks like that, what you want to do is take that DOI and add it or post it to the readme file or at the citation.md in your repository. Otherwise, people don't know really how to cite the code itself. Uh, and what I like about Zenodo, you can also track how many people did view your code and also how many people did download the code itself. And that gives you a sense of the reusability of the code that you had. And it enables you to track also the impact of your research. Um, this is pretty much what I want to say. Thank you so much. I hope that useful. If you've got any kind of questions, please do let me know.